Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be reacting to a Golden Oak video. If you guys don't know what Golden Oak is, it's a private residence on Disney property that people actually live on Disney property, live at Disney, whatever you wanna call it. Not a lot of people know about it, so that's why it's not really talked about a lot. It's kind of for really rich people. The homes start at two million and just go up from there. It's really close to the Four Seasons Orlando Resort. It's like on that property. It's right near Magic Kingdom. So you probably haven't seen it or heard about it. Um, and I've always wanted to make a video about it because I don't know, I'm just really intrigued about it. And just like people who are fans of stars or YouTubers, I am a fan of like really cool places and luxury and that sort of thing so I was really excited to make this video like everyone says make videos that you're passionate about that interests you and I always scour YouTube land to try to find videos about this place like more vlog style but there's not a lot of videos kind of just like showing what it looks like and stuff so if any of you live or go there make some videos vlogs take pictures or whatever because there's not a lot of stuff on the internet about it um but luckily the Happiest Girls on Earth YouTube channel, I will put their channel on the screen, have videos about it. And today we're going to be reacting to one. Golden Oak is probably someplace I would wanna live. Like honestly, I'm a little bit a fangirl when it comes to this because I don't know, it's just kind of unknown. So, you know, when you don't know a lot about something, you're just kind of like, ooh, what's that shiny new thing, you know? If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys like this and that I should make more reaction videos to maybe some of the homes in there, you know, like $7 million homes, crazy. I mean, it's definitely a goal of mine to like live maybe at Golden Oak, maybe, maybe in the Hamptons because the Hampton homes are so pretty. I follow that hashtag on Instagram, but I digress. Let's just get on into this video. So the video is entitled Dining at Disney's Golden Oak Exclusive exclusive restaurant. Okay, so she has a little cute intro. I'm gonna like skip through this a little bit. In Orlando, Florida, and I have some very exciting news and a very exciting place I'm going to be taking you guys along with me tonight. So, I will be eating at the Golden Oak Private Residence Clubhouse tonight for dinner. So they have this clubhouse if you have access if you live there or if you get invited. There's this pretty clubhouse. I don't know a lot about it. I've never really seen the outside of it, but in this video she shows it and it's really pretty. Um, I've seen like pictures, but like I don't really know what it actually looked like in context wise. So I'm glad that she showed that in her video. Now for those of you that don't know, <laughs> Golden Oak is Disney's private residential neighborhood. It's located southeast of the Magic Kingdom. Okay, so she kind of just explains like where Golden Oak is and like what it is about. You have to drive through to get to the hotel. That's the neighborhood I'm talking about. The homes in there are all Disney inspired. They have little magical touches scattered throughout them and they're all custom. And just look at these photos, guys. I don't know. It's just so cool. It's almost unreal. They have their own clubhouse and if you want to see a peek inside at the clubhouse at the restaurant, this is your place, this is your video to see it because there are no other videos on YouTube of this. Yeah, so really excited to props to this girl. Like, <laughs> if you are interested in more Golden Oak content, please stay tuned because I can promise you this will not be the last of our. So make sure to go subscribe to her and you'll be like the first to be notified. She doesn't even know I exist. So hopefully she maybe sees this, I don't know. Yeah, make sure to go subscribe to her channel. She's at like 721. She definitely needs like at least a thousand for this kind of content. Yes, finally, I'm like, finally someone is making content about this. Okay, and she's making more videos about it. So I don't want to be disrespectful to the other people dying in the restaurant or the people dying with me. So I'm not going to vlog. Totally good. I would probably do the same thing. She has probably more balls than I do because I wouldn't want to film in there. I would be too like nervous. I would just be kind of nervous to do that. So I'll probably just like take pictures and then explain it in the video like with a voiceover. So she did an amazing job doing this because I don't think I would do this as good as she did. Again, she did an amazing job. The entire thing or really talk much at all, but more so just show you 
a little bit inside what the clubhouse looks like, the food I'll be eating, the activities going on there. Again, there'll be much more content like this coming up soon. So this is just your first little peek inside Golden Oak. So I was just about to leave, but then I remembered something pretty important. The restaurant inside the clubhouse actually has its own name. It's called Bolton's, kind of like Troy Bolton, but it's, I mean, I don't know what it's named after, but I can assure you it's probably not named after Troy Bolton. So on the property, there's I don't know how many restaurants or whatever, but I do know that there's multiple restaurants. So there's like, I think she goes into it in this video. Hold on, let, let me just. But I wouldn't mind that. I'm very excited. You all should be very excited. So let's get to it. Okay, so she doesn't name all the restaurants, but there's this like one on the rooftop and then there's like, I don't know if it's like a sports bar. I don't know, but there's like obviously restaurants at the Four Seasons, like the resort and stuff. So there's multiple restaurants, but this is like the clubhouse restaurant. Again, I don't know a whole lot about this, but I'm assuming it's like, you know, in an apartment complex, like there's a clubhouse with like a gym and like other stuff that residents can do. I'm assuming it's like that, but I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, she's going to show her outfit. Cute. If I got a chance to go to Golden Oak, I think I would cry. I don't know why, it's just, ever since I learned about it, I was like so. Intrigued and fascinated is probably the best words to describe it now that I'm editing this. Oh my gosh, it's a whole other world. It's like, just because of its exclusivity, I just, I don't know. Also, if you guys didn't know, there's different sections of Golden Oak and they all have like different designs. So like there's the cottages, then there's these other like sections of it and they're all named like pretty fancy things. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. She's just kind of showing, driving up to the clubhouse and that's what it looks like. And I'm, now I get a better perspective of like what the actual thing looks like because I've only really seen like flat pictures, not like a full on video to kind of get to try to understand like what this all looks like. So again, she shows the COVID-19 stuff and going on in, oh, look at those doors. Honestly, the first time I saw this, I felt like it was really brown. I was kind of shocked. Um, like this area, I was just like, mm, it's a little dark in there. Like, I don't really know. Like I wouldn't expect that to look like that, but maybe it's the vibe they're going for. At least it's not too crowded, so she probably didn't feel like too nervous to film in this. Oh, look at the fancy water. We got a little, oh, there's the dining menu. So contactless. And then I guess they gave her another one, or maybe that one was for drinks. Or maybe this is the drinks one. Yeah. Oh no, there's pizza. Never mind. So that's a menu. And then this um, guy does a magic trick. The pizza looks good. Not gonna lie, chicken quesadillas with the chips and salsa. I'm a picky eater, but just knowing, I would probably eat this food just to try it because I would be like so excited. I don't know, but the fries look good. That's always a must when you're going to places like that. Ooh, those cookies, man. Oh my gosh, a snickerdoodle. I didn't even realize that when I first like watched that. Look at that giant piece of cake. Ooh, they have something on the top, like the little tree logo. She kind of talks about her experience. So again, if you want to check out um, her video, I'm not the most educated on this place. I really like this design, but the first, like going into the place, it was really dark. I was kind of surprised by that design. The best way I can describe it is like kind of brown. I mean, I don't know what the style they're going for, but this one, the ending clip that she shows, is so pretty kind of reminds me of like library vibes it's really cool i want to thank this girl for making this happiest girls on earth follow them subscribe the video will be the first link in the description box as well as linked in the i card um so just tap the i 
up there. And um, yeah, so I got inspired to make this video because I saw that video and I was like, ooh, we need to encourage her to do more videos like this and just to show her some love and kind of shout out her channel. I might do a reaction to some of like the interiors of the homes. Honestly, some of those people need to get better videographers and like use a wide angle lens, not their iPhone. Well, the iPhone does now have a wide angle lens, so maybe that's okay. But they need some better videographers for their real estate videos. So hit a girl up if you need some help with that because some of those videos look rough and I'm sure the homes, like the camera doesn't do the home justice is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the Happiest Girls on Earth YouTube channel and watch the full video. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section. Question of the day, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I think my first top Choice. I've never even been there it is Golden Oak or it would be the Hamptons like Northampton Southampton East Hampton or somewhere in California I've always said I wanted to live in California so those are probably the top three places I would want to live or maybe a different country but right now we're just gonna keep it to the US I guess that's about it so I'll see you guys in my next video bye